everyone, my name is Yashwan and today I'm going to demonstrate how to use this automated knitting machine. I use this fancy little joystick that I've included as part of this knitting machine motor. And as you can see, depending on which direction I push this joystick, the carriage moves in that direction. So now I'm going to show you how do you cast on and how do you start using uh, this knitting machine to make a fabric uh, like this. So you can actually make all of these knitted garments using this knitting machine. Ah! <laughs> well, that was unintentional. Uh, so to begin, let's kind of get the carriage to one side. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to pull out 10 or I think this is 20 needles on each side of zero into the B position. Uh, so as you know, this machine is uh, Brother KH851 and I have pulled out using this tool um, 20 needles on either side. And then uh, what I'm going to do to cast on is make sure that my um, cast on this tensioner is well threaded and I'm going to just cast this on. I'm going to make sure that my carriage is set to normal and all of the cams are uh, set. And now I'm going to take my joystick and while I'm holding this on one hand, I'm going to now go the opposite direction to cast this on. Making sure that there is enough tension for the yarn. And once I'm done, I'm going to make sure that I take one of these little clothes uh, clips, hanging clips, and then I'm going to just put this here. This will help us in uh, maintaining tension through the knitting. Uh, this is like a standard technique that we use. Uh, it shouldn't be that tricky. Just hang it however you want. Uh, so having done that, I'm going to use one of these cast-on combs. This is a small size cast-on combs. Um, you can choose uh, whichever cast-on comb depending on the work that you're doing. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to just about push this a little more. And I'm going to just cast this on into these. And really you just you do not need to be perfect when you do this. Uh, you'll get used to it. Uh, in a couple of times and then you have one of these weights uh, this is a five kilo weight that I have I'm gonna just I don't think it's a five kilo weight it's a, it's a weight a decent one I'm just gonna put this in the center and from this point on uh, look how easy it is to get a knit so I'm gonna go into the opposite direction to knit this off right now that's it so we completed one row of knitting um, and you can see here that this is set to a one by one knitting uh, position. Uh, so at this point, I can choose to continue uh, in this one by one position, and that would lead me to like a one by one knitting, which you could later do a hem against. Now notice that if I try to move the carriage with my hand, it would simply not allow. That's because the motor is a DC motor and that's attached to the power supply. And when it's in operation, it will not allow you to remove your, uh, I mean, uh, move it manually with your arms. Uh, but you can kind of move it this way. And when you reach a certain point where you're comfortable to just go ahead and engage the other needles, like you see here, you can just engage these other needles. Uh, this is similar to how you would use a typical knitting machine if you're used to that kind of stuff. But at this point, you just engage the needles and then you just keep heading. Notice how easy it is to get this knitting. You do this all day, every day, you're not feeling tired. And all you do is just manage this. I 
Another thing to remember is that this knitting machine motor has got its own speed dial. So if you are looking for, uh, let's say, a slower speed or for higher speed, you could just set the speed right from here. Um, so if you can look at this closer, you will see that uh, the knitting machine motor has got uh, this dial with which you can control the speed. So this is set to the highest setting right now. And then... Um, over here, if you see, I'm now going to set it to a slightly slower speed. So it was here, and now I'm going to set it to like a little bit of a medium speed. And let's see how that performs now. So as you can see, uh, the knitting machine is now uh, working at a much slower speed. The carriage goes from left to right at a much slower speed. Um, this is essentially helpful in those cases when we are really, you know, when we are using like a, a tighter yarn um, or a yarn that's got a little more thickness than, uh, than like a three or a four ply yarn. Uh, so it kind of comes in very handy uh, in such cases. Um, and I'm also gonna take a moment and show you what the lowest speed looks like. Uh, so I'm just gonna underclock it to like let's say the lowest speed. <laughs> uh, this is going to be interesting to watch because, you see that? It is super slow. <laughs> it is quieter than a whisper. See that? How do you cast off this work? So let's say I'm done with this, this much amount of fabric, which which is easily the amount that you would require for something like a sampler. So I'm gonna just remove the weight from here. I'm gonna put that away. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to need one of these uh, transfer tools. It's a one by two transfer tool, so you get lots of these. Um, along with your machine, typically when you buy them. And then I'm gonna just get the needle out of its way. I'm gonna put this joystick away. Uh, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna use one of the prongs of this needle and then transfer this needle over to this. So it's a, it's a process uh, that you will learn. It's one of the essential skills of, of knitting. Ah, using a knitting machine. Uh, so what you can do is you can just go into the needle and then transfer it over to this one. See that? And then hold the fabric a little taut. So, and you do it as many times as you have stitches on your machine that are active. So I'm gonna continue doing this process and I'll meet you when we are done. 
we go now when we reach the end stitch so the last stitch that we have got to cast off pull a little slack so you can just pull it a little you can just pull a little slack like that like so and then snip this end off notice what happens to the tension mast when I do this it just pops like that <laughs> and we just remove this so at this point, what you can do is uh, put this loose end into this and then just pull it like that, like so. As you can see, it creates a little knot. And if you see this, come closer, if you see this, it creates a nice little cast off to your work. Um, so that kind of helps you if you're kind of casting off uh, the edge of a work, like the seam of a dress or seam of a sweater. It kind of looks lovely to cast off. Uh, there are so many other ways to cast off. Uh, usually, people pull all of those, um, all of those stitches into a piece of thread, and then they cast off like that. But I prefer doing it this way. Uh, with that, uh, I think we have our finished piece of work. So I can actually just take out all of these, and here's your little swatch that you made in less than six minutes. Um, so this is the amount of uh, time it took me to make this, it took me like 6 minutes. Uh, but I hope you liked the video uh, of me showing you my brand new knitting machine motor, uh, or as I like to call it, the automated knitting machine. Um, please do like, share and subscribe. Um, and thank you so much for watching this video. See you again next time. Bye bye.